Hey guys, my name is Brain and in this video we are going to make interactive buttons in Figma. Let's get started. Since we are going to uh, include our icons uh, as variants in the buttons, so let's get some icons first. Uh, so I do have this iconly plugin uh, from which I'm going to get my icons. Uh, so let's uh, let's take this one bag icon and let's take this save icon and uh, maybe this uh, camera icon so we do have three icons but you can uh, get as many as you need so i have just increased the size um which is actually not important uh let me get and get text first so it would be like for example the button for now I will choose font Gilroy let's take this as 48 pixel as this has also a height width of 48 pixels and let's make this semi bold and let's make all this to one color all right let's also make this as white okay uh now in order to make uh, in order to include icons on our buttons we need to make these um what uh, what we call in figma is components so let's create that component first by clicking on the, clicking on this and create multiple components and combine as variants and we'll just name it as uh, button icons then it is back here and which we'll rename it as say and this camera okay so we'll go we'll just take instance out of this now we have this bag icon now let's uh, create an auto layout by clicking on a shift a and we have an auto layout of this now we'll give it a gap of 16 pixels and let's enter this and increase uh, the padding horizontal padding to maybe around 16 and height of 8 pixels let's give this a fill of maybe maybe something like this maybe something like this okay uh, I think I need to increase the horizontal padding as well as vertical padding okay now i'll just skip this sweet 20 pixels of radius so this is our uh, first button as you can see Okay, let's make it round and give it this uh, border radius of 70. Now let's make another variant of it. And uh, it would be maybe an outline. And then outline of her white. And let's just duplicate it and uh, let's do something right this. That is tip back to
have more. And then we will create our fourth state, uh, which will be maybe disabled. So it will have some. This will be our actually uh, default. And uh, let's actually we are not going to make it uh, state wise, but I'm just um, all right. So we have these states uh, for our buttons. So what we'll do is I will select all these and create multiple components and combine as variants and we will just rename the component to buttons and here are four buttons which you can rename as you want Maybe outline. Okay, so here's how we have made this uh, buttons. So we have uh, the icons which you can change as you need. And if you don't need the icon, you can simply click on hide and it will go away. So these are the icons if you need to prototype it you can also do that by by uh, creating the connections and it will work just fine uh, so what we will do now is that we'll just go to assets assets and uh, we'll just create an inst instance out of it you can also do like this and uh, both are the same things okay so if i want to change the property of this button i will just need to select it from here and uh, if i need to change the icon from here if i want to change the icon i can just select it from there Alright, here is how you can create button components. If you want to like prototype it, for example, you can surely do that by clicking on this prototype button. And uh, then maybe if you want to click this on hover. So if we take this out and if we, we will just create a frame for maybe for the MacBook and give it this background and just get them all right here and just view the prototype so as you can see that this is working nicely you can do more prototype uh, inter uh, connections on this so that all the buttons will be work working fine so this was all on components, creating component buttons. And uh, if you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. Mm -hmm.